Hello, Polly's the best for UK here. Happy Thursday, welcome to today's Game of Day video. Now, unfortunately, I didn't quite see the poll at the 2 pm promised time of it ending, so I'm hoping I've got the right selection uh, as of the ending of the uh, polling. So I, I saw it around about 3 30. I was late coming home and uh, it was Super Nintendo was at the lead so that's what I'm going on so if um if that's definitely wrong please let me know in the comments just don't don't please just don't say it's wrong because it's not the system you wanted just just sort of like let me know and I'll try and see what we can do about that but I'm, I'm guessing it was Super Nintendo as a winner so I do apologize about that Some, sometimes life happens and you can't do things about stuff Okay, so this is a Super Nintendo game for today anyway, and it's a game called Spriggan Powered. I think it might have been only released in Japan. So let's have a look at this one. So this is a game I've absolutely never heard of before. So this is copyright and oh, quite late in the life of the snares. 1996 Naxat Soft. So let's have a look at this game. So we've got our snares emulator up and running. I'm not using the real hardware because I don't have an EverDrive currently for the uh, snares. I do plan on getting one or a clone. If anyone's got any suggestions of an EverDrive clone that's cheaper uh, than the official one, let me know, because I don't mind using the clones, to be honest. Uh, but yeah, okay, so let's have a look at the options here. They're just some basic sort of game. Oh, you can change the level. Let's have it as easy, because I'm shit at games. Okay, so let's go to exit, and let's start this game up. How do I go back? Hmm. Okay, so press the start button to go back. Now my Bluetooth controller is running out, it's got no battery warning on it as well, so hopefully nothing happens, I should have charged it. The battery doesn't last very long in this controller. Right, okay, so stage one. If anyone's wondering which controller I'm using, I recently bought a Geo Tech one. Uh, cheaper alternative to Xbox One controllers and PS5, PS4 controllers, etc. So I did a decent, decent but cheap gamepad for my PC so I can free up my Xbox One controller to use on my actual Xbox. So yep, this is a... what was it called? Spriggan Powered. Okay, so I'm running a Japanese ROM here, so I don't know if this was ever released in the UK or if it, in America, etc. I, I don't know that, to be honest. I haven't researched anything into the game. But some nicer sort of, like, sort of texture. Is that mode 7? It looks like it's mode 7. I don't know why it's scrolling, like, like, we're going right, but the world seems to be coming towards us, which is quite a strange way of doing things. But it does look kind of cool, doesn't it? So, yeah, you'd think if the, the uh, textures were going that way, you would be going, like, towards the mountains rather than left to right, wouldn't you? Whoa, look at all these. Now this is a shump or a shoot em up as I used to call them back in the day. They call them shumps now I think in the uh, community and stuff. And uh, yeah this is uh, this is pretty fun actually, it's pretty playable. It's not a nice bit of uh, game obscurity that I've never saw before. I don't know if this uh, game on cartridge format or for real snares is worth a lot. It probably is. Quite often these retro games are starting to shoot up in value which makes it impossible for uh, a lot of people to afford them unfortunately the collectors will pay but the the collect the people who haven't got the cash can't afford them so it's a shame so i can i can sort of understand why people would sort of rather get the roms and stuff and put one and have a drive so yeah visually the game looks impressive it's got a lovely looking look to it the sky this game reminds me of an old master system game called was it called Transbot or something like that, where you're flying a, a flying robot? I think it was called that, or something very similar along them lines. It reminds me of that with a flying sort of robot mechanoid sort of style thing. Yep, so yeah, graphic, like I said, graphics are good, music's pretty good as well, not not bad music. Like I said earlier in the video, if I got poll wrong, then either do me a direct email to my uh, YouTube business correspondent's address or just uh, send put a message in the comments below or on the community section. I, I can't just like sort of change to a different system just because one person says it because it might uh, sort of not be true and it, it, they didn't vote for that system sort of thing. You understand my meaning on that so I, I sort of need to uh, sort of have a look but I think I'm hoping it was originally Super Nintendo so yeah. 
and I'll, I apologise for that. In any future polls, I'll make sure I get the time deadline looked at straight away and then do a snapshot of it. Nice little rainbow there with the waterfall. Was that the boss? It was pretty easy, wasn't it? Hey, stage one clear on this one. So, I did put it on easy mode, so that might have an impact on how easy I'm finding this. Because, uh, as you know, by now, if you're a long-time subscriber or a long-time viewer of the channel, you will know that I'm shit at games. Even though I play games on my channel, I'm shit at them. So, on to stage two here. And, whoa, we're rising into the clouds now. How far are we going up? Right above the clouds now. I thought we were going into space then. But now we're above the clouds, you can see the clouds whizzing by. That looks kind of cool, doesn't it? Whoa, the clouds are whizzing by rather fast now. So, yeah, pretty good game, actually. I, I, I would have loved to have this back in the day. I don't know, like I said earlier in the video, if it was ever for, uh, sort of converted for the European, American, Canadian markets, etc. Or if it was a Japan exclusive, I couldn't tell you. But uh, all the text I've seen so far has been in English, actually. I haven't saw not one, one, one letter of Japanese text, so that's quite interesting. Oh, you fuck. Let's uh, continue on this one. Yeah. I'll tell you what, it's a lot better having the Bluetooth wired controller. Sorry, the Bluetooth wireless controller than it was when I was hinged to a a, 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 a sort of wire. I, I find it so much more convenient when I'm doing my game of day videos. Yeah, Bluetooth controllers and 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi controllers. By the way, there's a difference between them, so... Just because it's wireless, it doesn't necessarily mean it's Bluetooth, etc. So, bear that in mind if you're buying keyboards and mice especially. If you don't want, if you want to connect uh, sort of two things to devices that don't have Bluetooth, you must get the 2.4 gigahertz versions, and they come with their own dongle. So yeah, we're going off course a bit there, but yeah, that, that's uh, uh, Spriggan Power, Spriggan Power, is it? On the uh, Super Nintendo, an excellent game, excellent start to the month. It, again, like I say, if, if it's not supposed to be Super Nintendo, let me know. But yeah, that's uh, this video, and I await some feedback on the, uh, the poll and everything. And I'm going to give this one a nice 8 out of 10. Seems a very, very good game. So I'd like to uh, thank you for watching. Have a pleasant rest of your evening, and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Bye! And if uh, there's been no feedback about if it's not supposed to be snares, we will continue with snares. Thank you. Goodbye.